Hello everyone. Thanks for coming back for another okay. Thanks for coming back for another episode of the Black Femme Veg, Black Feminist Vegan. However, you know me. My name is Star, as you may already know. And today I'm here to follow up my last video. In my last video, I actually tested catnip by smoking the herb on its own. And I talked a little bit about the taste and the effect that I was feeling and my opinion about replacing cannabis with catnip compared to peppermint. So yeah, if you want to go check that out, it's on my video list. But today, this time I'm going to be talking about the empirical research that I have brought into the discussion in terms of the known effects of catnip and the reason why some people may work with this herb as well as the benefits that you may receive from the herb. So I can link each of the articles and journals down below because this is just gonna be a really quick video of an, like a really quick overview. And if you're interested in learning more in depth, you can search through, look through those resources that I've provided down there in the description. So in short, Catnip is a mild tranquilizer and sedative, and actually, which means that it does have a calming and soothing effect when ingested, and its sedative properties are attributed to a chemical called nepetalactone, which is also which is a component that's also found in valerian. Um, so it's used to relieve insomnia. To um, it's actually also used as a painkiller and promote sleep and to calm the nerves. So that would explain why there is a study that I linked down below by Jackson in 1969. Patients within the study actually did report that they felt some calming effects that were similar to that of marijuana. So that is most likely attributed to the, the mild tranquilizing effects that are found in catnip. Catnip is also applicable as a digestive aid and a painkiller, which I mentioned before, but more specifically for menstrual pain relief. I read that the leaves actually stimulate menstrual flow, and for this reason, it's actually not recommended for people who are pregnant. So about 1.5 grams can last about two to three hours, it says here, and four plus grams, ingesting four or more grams at once is what will really induce sedation. Um, before bed or when someone is experiencing extreme pain and they want to have a tranquilizing effect. Also said to have a calming effect that won't necessarily impact the next day. Like being able to very effectively sedate the person now without them waking up with a groggy effect or a hangover effect of sorts. So yes, that is the research that I personally found on catnip. I am really excited for folks to try it out perhaps and look into the information, you know, within the links that I've provided and beyond, of course. But yes, hope that was helpful and hope you look forward to trying it. Enjoy the rest of your day and thank you for watching. Peace.